and welcome to SNN Sageville News Network. I'm Abby. And I'm Brayden. Our top story for November, Four Mounds. Fifth graders took an awesome trip to the Four Mounds Ropes course. Check out these highlights of our adventure. Okay, so we have her at our shoulders pretty much. So what we're going to do here first is we're going to rock her to her head. So just kind of rock her body. So you're just going to kind of rock her body. Perfect. Are you afraid of heights? No. Uh, I don't think so. Hey guys, what's our job down here while our teammates are climbing? Cheer them on! That's right! Let them go! Go, Charlie! Go, Charlie! your reading with the Sageville Read at Home or Ra Challenge. Have your family record a video of you reading to a parent or a sibling or silently to yourself or your parents reading to you or you reading to your parents. And most importantly, have fun. Check it out. Cade, where are you? I'm right here. <clears throat> what are you doing? I'm reading. Reading skills are important for a child's success in school, work, and life. Reading to your child or listening to your child read is a true one-on-one -on -one opportunity for children to communicate with their parents. At Sageville School, we want to show how much we love to read. RA stands for Read at Home. Every month, we'll be doing the Sageville Ra Ra Challenge. How does it work? Glad you asked. Picture your face, or your child's face, reading a book. Get it? Face? Book? <laughs> Record a short video of the reading you do at home. Work on expression and make it fun. And then, if you're willing, share your video to the Sageville School Dubuque private Facebook group. Did Pete cry? Goodness no. Buttons come and buttons? Go. Pete looked down at his buttonless shirt, and what do you think he saw? His belly button! Our Sageville community will enjoy seeing all the fun family videos of reading and hopefully increase our students' love of reading at home. Have you read a great book and you want to tell others about it? Now you can with our new book talks. Just fill out the form in the library. Here's an example. who likes dogs, Win dixie is the book for you. A girl named India Opal, who doesn't know anyone, meets this dog at the grocery store and brings him home and asks her dad, the preacher, if she can keep him. And the preacher says we can give it a try, so she cleans him up and stuff like that. I like this book because adventures happen one after the other, and when you think it's boring, it gets exciting again, and they go through a lot of trouble. If you want to find out about all their trouble they went through and all the adventures they did, then you should read this book and find out. Have you seen this year's new class photos? They are pretty unique. Teachers come up with the idea and they turn out really fun. Here they are along with some behind the scenes photos of how they were taken.
Lots of other great things happen in November. Here are a few of them. for this month. Up next, where in the school is Sassy? We will see you in December. Until then, we hope your news is good news. Here we go. Where's Sassy? Nobody knows. Where's Sassy? Where did he go? Where's Sassy? Is he over there? Where's Sassy? Does anybody care? We do! Alright folks, it's time to listen. Our favorite Squatch seems to be a missing. He could be up, he could be down. He could be anywhere all around. Might be in a room, might be in a hall. So keep your eyes open, one and all. Follow the trail and find the clues. Cause Sassy disappearing is gonna make the news. Where in the school is Sassy? Where in the school is Sassy? <laughs> Breaking news! Sassy is still missing. Lance Evergreen continues his search and fourth graders are helping him. Today we have Leroy Lookum in our studio. Leroy can speak Sasquatch and he's now a published author. Welcome to our studio, Leroy. Thank you very kindly. And my new book is number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Why do you think Sassy has disappeared? Here's the thing. It ain't easy thinking like a Squatch thinks. The brains are on a whole nother level than ours. If you want to know more, read chapter six of my new book, Squatch Talking. Number one on the New York Times bestseller list. Are there any signs we can look for to help us find Sassy? Well, let me flip to chapter two of my new book, Squatch Talk. Number one on the New York Times bestseller list, by the way. <clears throat> 
One telltale sign a squatch is around is footprints. A straight forward stride indicates the squatch is happy and healthy, nice and straight. However, footprints in a circular pattern can be proof that a squatch is confused, hungry, or a little muddled in the noggin, if you know what I mean. <laughs> that is very helpful. We will let the fourth graders know. And you can also order my new best-selling book, Squatch Talking, on Amazon. Amazon.com. Got it. No, no. Not Amazon.com. The Amazon River. I got me a little booth set up there with copies of my book for sale. Okay, let's go back to the Sageville Playground and check on our search for Sassy. Look, a footprint! And another! They're going around and around! Sassy must be confused. Or hungry. Or a little muddle in the noggin. What should we do? Follow the footprints. moment sassy has been found lance is now leading sassy into the school sassy appears a little disoriented and is limping slightly lance must be taking sassy to the nurse's office sassy's getting into the elevator <laughs> Problem. 